<laughs> How's it going YouTube? Matt here for RC Anonymous. Today we have the brand new Proline Pro MT 4x4 110 kick ass monster truck. This thing is awesome. I'm so keen to drive it. It's I'm itching. I'm absolutely itching. Right. How are we going to do this video today? Well, we're going to start with the body. What did I paint this body with? Well, I painted the body with, obviously, with some chrome, with some black, and with some green. Now, why does it look like that? Well, I stuffed the masking up, and uh, I redid it, and I rushed it, because I was annoyed, and it came out looking like this. Now, that is absolutely terrible. It looks like a three-year-old in kindergarten did that. So, what have I done to fix it? I've grabbed your Nico, your Artline, and I have coloured it from the outside. That's it. I didn't even want to waste any more paint on it. I have other bodies I need to paint, so that wasn't going to happen. Let's take the body off. Now, firstly, you're going to notice there are no body clips. These little cap thingies, they seem to work really well. It's, um, it's a nice, nice little touch. It is worrying to me, though, that I'm going to lose them. Um, we'll see what happens there. Well, that would be my own fault if I did lose them. I'll give you a look at this body. Not too close because it is yucky. The uh, camera will make it look better than what it is. You've got a bit of flex. The sides are stiff. We are rock hard. I'm very impressed with the Sentinel body. I think it's going to do just nice. Right, now the main event. Here we have the Pro MT. Now, um, firstly, we'll start with electronics and then we'll move over to batteries. Some of you might be going, what the hell is he doing with those batteries in there? Your combo I've put in here is your Yeti XL Special. This is an Axial Vanguard AE4 combo, which effectively is a rebadged Castle Sidewinder 8 with the 2200 kV Monster 6S capable motor with a shitload of power. Now I've put the 16 tooth pinion that was supplied with it on there. I have over on this side, we have a high tech HS5585 MH servo giving me 17 kilos. For radio gear, I've put a Sanwai M12S with the 472 receiver. Now it wants you to put the receiver down here. There is no way in hell I am putting this receiver anywhere near my gearing, let alone near this little gap we have up the front here where shit will just cover it and ruin it for me. So that's not going to happen, so I have done your home job and cable tied it to the top of the center diff, which is, as you can see, is not very center. That center diff is quite far forward. Now, why have they done this? I think they've done this for more even um, power distribution. I could be completely wrong there. It could have been done just because of the layout. As you can see, everything is very snug in there. We don't have a lot of room. Now, we also, this center diff, how it's mounted there, there are no, there's no chassis brace. This is all one piece. The center diff would become the front chassis brace. And if you look at the rear here, it actually splits around that center drive shaft, and that's quite cool. I think that's gonna do very well. Um, your diffs, thank you to the back. I haven't opened them up yet, but they are one eighth looking. They certainly are. Drive shafts are really big. I'm very happy with the drive shafts. Um, could they have been bigger? Possibly. You know, we, we like big drive shafts, but I guess it's a weight size thing. I will say they are way bigger than a Habao Hyper SSTE Bees Dip drive shafts. That thing has the thinnest drive shafts on the planet, and if you're thinking of getting a Habao Hyper SS series vehicle, you are gonna bend your drive shafts every two minutes, and now we've gone off topic. Suspension, 16 millimeter big bore shocks. It's nice, guys and girls. It is nice, it is lush. It's gonna kick ass. Annoyance or potential brake part of this vehicle. I'm going to show you this tower here That is a lot and when I go down it doesn't feel good. There's like that's the post there. I think 
with how I bash, I'm worried it's going to snap in there. Well, let's hope not. Your metal, your alloy bitties. These are just redonkulous. They are huge. Your arms are thick. They are tough. They are not going anywhere. Your bumpers. Well, yes. The same thing there. This guy runs pillow ball suspension and we've got unis in the front. We have big ball bearings all around. I am going to mention that this front had... Um, we had a problem with... Um, one of the bearings was a little seized. Now this would probably be due to being in a container with humidity at one point in its life. So what did I do? I just threw some sewing machine oil on the bearings and they've come sweet. They are a rubber sealed bearing for ease of maintenance, which is great to see. I'll flip him over and I'm going to show you the deck here and the motor mount tabs. Everyone is very curious about this. It gives you a perfect mesh. Right? Now, out of the box, there was a little warning card saying in the actual instruction manual, it's um, don't look at it because they did it wrong in that. So here's a photo of the replacement card that came with the vehicle showing the correct configuration. You need to have all these tabs facing the one direction and their sizing for pinion to tab was wrong in the actual user manual. It's no biggie, they're probably Pretty annoyed at whoever put that together, to be quite honest. Someone would have got a smacked bottom. Um, how does it go putting it in? I'm, I'm going to be quite honest here. It was annoying. It was it was annoying. You know, hold it on this side, put them in, feed them in. You don't want to thread things, strip things. It was a little bit of a pain, but seeing the mesh, you're getting it. That perfect little click there. Sorry, I had my finger in the way. So it meshes very nice, and I'm quite happy with that. Now, the batteries I've put in here. These are Turnergy Heavy Duty 4000 mAh, and they're two 3S packs in there, and they're 60C. So I'm going to run this guy on 6S for all of use, and we're going to see if it takes it. Now, I'm going to state this is a 4S vehicle. If you go do what I do now, be prepared to break it. They say it's 4S. At this current point in time, and with a little test inside the house, which I probably shouldn't have done, because it's very dangerous, I think it's gonna take 6S. All right, will the wheels and tires take 6S unstrapped? I don't know, probably won't make a damn good wheel and tire. We're gonna see. Um, I may use the braid like I did with my uh, bigger MX 38s and I may do the same thing. That was a hundred pound braided fishing line glued. The size comparison, you can see how cute these guys are as opposed to the 38. There is a massive size difference there. Alright, another size comparison. I'm just going to move out of the way. Sorry. And I'm going to put an armor outcast on the bench next to this guy. And we're going to go over the top and you guys can have just a little look at the size. Now this is a short wheelbase one eighth and this is your, your one tenth there. So it is, it's a good little size. It's very convenient. It's very portable. It'll make a great traveler buggy. It, um, sorry, great traveler monster truck. It fits on my shelf beautifully. Um, I'm very impressed with it so far. I think if you were to buy one of these, you would just, you're just you going to be just as impressed. You get this awesome tool with it too. For your wheel nuts. Now, and instead of putting the little diblets in there, they've kept it as a proper hex. So I can use it with these nice lush wheel nuts that are in there. And I can use it on my other vehicles and... I'm very happy with this, so thank you Proline. Biggest question you're all probably wondering right now is did it come with stickers? And it did. It came with a whole sticker sheet. So thank you very much Proline. Um, did the MX28s, they come individually packaged in this, did they come with stickers? No they didn't. So that was annoying. You might say, well you already got some stickers and it's like, well anyone buying these guys on the shelf, they're not going to get stickers. Just like these guys didn't come with stickers, and these guys didn't come with stickers. So Proline, please, for us, the people, we're the people, can you please put stickers back in with your wheels and tyres? We like the stickers, 
We want to put stickers on our bodies. Please just do it. Everyone will love you more for it. <laughs> Way off topic here. That's it, guys. I'm uh, absolutely just itching to drive this. Unfortunately, I've got to take off to work very shortly, so it won't be driven today. It's Friday now. Expect to see a video of this guy on 6S by Sunday. And uh, I guess it'll we'll make it or break it. Go hard or go home. Whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go out I'm going to have some fun with this guy. Righto. I think that about covers it. you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be happy to help you where I can. Um, as always, hit that like button for me. Uh, it shows me what you guys want to see. And I can tailor that experience more to you. And um, yeah. Alrighty. That's it from me. Uh, Matt out for RC Anonymous.